We are powerful. Every thought, word, or action we create. So regulate thoughts, choose words, and let your actions demonstrate. Don't waste your energy on negatives like anger or blame. Complaining won't solve problems. If we're stuck, they stay the same. While words are woven to evoke emotion, actions cause change. If you think everything's backwards, support those who rearrange. We have been the cause, and everywhere you look is an effect. If you desire to change that, let all your efforts reflect. Poetic Empiricist, Difference in Time, 2013 We'd be learning to teach an animal a trick, she explained. She taught us about conditioning, how animals are trained. We learned animals have different forms of intelligencies. They also have different instincts and innate abilities. We compared the size and wrinkles of a couple mammals' brains. Those are the clues about the intelligence level it contains. Poetic Empiricist, My Brother's Still Talking, 2019 it's easy to see how the younger generations are changing the world with their creative solutions to old problems. They are inspiring hope. I love seeing their passion and refusal to settle for the status quo. Many young people around the world are showing up to create change by choosing a cause that is meaningful that can take solace in contributing to and positively influencing the world. All around the world, young people are shaking things up. They don't understand why we just accepted things we knew were wrong. And after witnessing them, I don't understand us either. However, the very thing that is instigating their awareness can be our excuse, social media. It's now become easy to find and organize like-minded individuals. The informal way these platforms work achieve faster results than the traditional campaigns and heavily bureaucratic committees. The younger generations offer us all reason for hope. Let them remind us that anyone can use their passion and purpose to create change. The world becomes a better place with every soul who begins to realize their purpose.